Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome on in. Hi, I'm Magic Pumpkin and I'm here today to give you a focus in on actually one of my favorite tarot decks of all time and this is the Horror Tarot. Now, why this is one of my favorite decks is because Abigail Larson is the, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, is the uh, illustrator she's not the author but she's the illustrator of this whole deck this was like her pride and joy her baby she's actually worked with different authors for different decks that were previous to this one coming out so for example I think one of the most popular ones that you may know or I think both of these decks are actually quite popular but most I would say this one maybe a tad more because it's tied to Disney so we have the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. She actually illustrated this deck here. Uh, you can see here is her illustrations. I've actually edged this deck. This deck does not come with purple ones, but I did it myself. But this is her illustrations. If you love the Nightmare Before Christmas and you like her style of artwork, you know, this is one of the popular ones. So there's this one. And then this one, which I think is is kind of equally popular a lot of people do know about this one but like i said it's not disney so you may not know about this one but this is the dark wood tarot oh one thing i did want to say though um one of the co-authors for her horror tarot deck is minerva siegel and the other person is aria gimitter i'm not sure how to pronounce that but uh, minerva actually is the author for the nightmare before christmas so she writes for this one she writes the descriptions and stuff in the guidebook for this one so it's it's kind of cool to see like you know people working together to make more tarot decks and whatnot but the dark wood tarot this is another great one this is about like more of the shadow side of things so she illustrated this one now i keep this one on a nice little pouch it does come in a nice like big box but i want to put in this small little pouch because i also edged this one too I edged it in black and you can kind of see her style show through in this deck too so if you like the artwork if you really like the artwork of the horror deck that i'm about to show you maybe you want to look into these other two decks since she did illustrate them as well i don't know if she's illustrated any more since then I don't feel like I've seen it. I think I would have, but you know how algorithms are in social medias. I could have missed it. So I know she was doing some other things, but um, but yeah. So those are the two decks I do actually love. I think Dark Wood. I actually like the Dark Wood more than I do the Nightmare Before Christmas one because I think the Nightmare Before Christmas one is more of a Pip deck, and I'm not a huge huge fan of Pip decks. Okay, but let me flip the camera around so we can take a deeper look into the horror tarot. So this is obviously the guidebook. Even I just love the colors in here. Here's the pattern um, for, it's like in the box as well. I'll show that in just a second, but this is like one of the popular patterns here. It has spiders, knives, axes, a little bit, you know, gore, a little, a little dash of blood, you know, here and there, um, you know, as an illustration, but it's a very thorough guidebook. Uh, and I, I really do like it put that on the side here here's the actual box you can see the foiled detail see it here oh it tells you who right there and this is talking about it's like in the box here that pattern which i think is really cool it would have been kind of cool to see it on the back of the cards here too i'm not gonna lie but i don't mind the back of the cards right here box is pretty simple put everyone to the side here so again this is also why i really love this deck is because Look how nicely it fits my hands. No, I have not edged this one yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to edge it with because I think black is truly the only other color because you just have white here, black, and red. Those are your only colors. The only other color that maybe would work because I think red would not because you have to like buy, find a good red. It would be a dark red, um, but maybe like a gray color. But honestly, I think black would be the only color to really edge this deck into it. Um, but I haven't done that in a, in a while now. Uh, so let me show you the cards first. And then after I do the flip through of the deck here, 
we'll go into like you know pros and cons or just more of like my thoughts overall when using the deck I'm gonna zoom in some in here and maybe we'll do a little read with it too I like to do a little read if I do like a little unboxing or a little you know deck review which again I don't really review decks too much because I just think every deck just it needs to find the right person for it so I'm trying my best with my camera because this is the full card now what you're not going to be able to really pick up unfortunately is right here it says the fool it says the fool card so like all of these let me just show the next one really quick this is the magician they're foiled down here and they're foiled up here where their numbers are let me see if, yeah so unfortunately with my camera settings this is the best i can really do right now it's the best i can do with what i have right now i uh, hope you do enjoy it though so this is the fool the magician love a mad scientist the high priestess she's not sitting in her chair the empress is a bit more graphic than we're used to when we talk about giving birth to ideas she's giving birth all right the emperor the hierophant the lovers the chariot that is so pretty like I love like that look that vibe I just love the vibe overall of this deck strength as you can tell the cards are a little bit like dented already because of how I've been using them so they're just kind of naturally like that just just because just out of use Oops. just out of use that's all the hermit would you go in there wheel of fortune Justice, the scales balancing, the hanged man, death, temperance, the devil, interesting right to see a spider over like an actual devil the tower the star the moon classic werewolf howling the sun some people love and hate this card <laughs> Judgment. And the world. The first one we're dealing with is the pentacles. So I'm just going to kind of go through those. Now you can make your own judgment here if you feel like this is closer to a pip deck. Because I think in each of them, you have elements of the traditional one. Like in the Five of Pentacles, you see the church. Um, it's usually depicted as a church building and two figures walking around it. This is the church window, you can say. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen. And the Keen. Next up are swords.
110. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. I love gargoyles, so I love that one. Queen. And King. Next up are Wands. I love the four. I love the dancing couple. Now we have Page of Wands. Knight of Wands, Mummy, Queen, and Keen giving some Phantom of the Opera vibes. And last but certainly not least, we have the Cups. We love a Two of Cup moment. Which option do you pick? Like this is definitely more of a pip deck feel to this card right here, uh, but the illustration is still so cool. Like the spilling up from the top to the bottom, I love it. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups, some Headless Horseman action. Queen. And the King, which I honestly, I feel like the King of Cups is one of the hottest like looking. I, I read a lot of monster romance books. Yeah, but I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it a little bit while I shuffle. So, Although I really do love the illustrations of this deck, I really do. This to me is definitely great if you love to collect horror themed tarot decks, add it to your collection immediately. You'll see elements of the tarot that you may be used to in here, depending on the card. Some of the cards in here are very, very, very much so pip decks or pip, pip cards some of them are very much more illustrated than others so it just depends on how you feel about it now me being a fan of the artist i adore it and i obviously got the deck i might have even pre-ordered this one for all i know um each one still has her you know touch and her feel like you know it's her artwork into it I think the pentacles off the top of my head right now, the pentacles maybe have the worst brunt of like feeling like it's a pip deck. So you just got to ask yourself if it's worth it, if you can read it. That's why for me, even when I first got this and even doing tarot for so many years, I still had to use the guidebook just to be sure about things. Like right now we're seeing right here the um, swords right here, the five and the six. And it's like, or no, excuse me, the, the seven and the eight, sorry, the seven and the eight right here. And I know what they are, and these illustrations help because there's people in them. But, you know, the two, we only have, like, an element of the moon that would be present in the cards. And, like, the two swords here, which path do you take? So, you know, you can still use the guidebook to help you or your own notes. They can still be quite useful. So I'm only going to do a small little reading just with this, I'm not bringing any oracle cards. I'm just going to do this to do a small little reading just using this deck. Just a little vibe check, you know, where our energy currently is, where we would like it to be and what will help us get there, okay? 
see how easy it is to shuffle though like you can't say no to this and it just takes some time to get used to it then you're really like oh yeah you know what i remember what these cards mean there's enough in there to jog my memory you know and get the feelings with this you know to understand what it's trying to tell me but i do understand that usually i think it's like insight editions the like publisher for these or like where a lot of these come from inside editions i don't think it's yeah i think that's the publisher um they do a lot like that they do a lot like the nightmare before christmas is a lot like that it is so it just depends just on your preference but these cards feel nice okay current energy We have the Page of Cups. Sometimes I still have to flip it over just to be sure I'm reading the right thing. We got the Page of Cups in reverse, needing to trust our intuition, maybe needing to get more connected with our spirituality. And we're waiting for the, uh, this is the Hanged Man. So this is more waiting for like that moment of enlightenment. We're trying to reach a realm of, you know, what did we give up for to be able to bring in this higher realm of spirituality and dreams maybe we're trying to get a message in our dreams and i say that because the hanged man besides it being like what are you sacrificing to get what it is that you want for the next pivot for the next motion it's also about neptune energy this card is associated with neptune and neptune is the realms of illusions of dreams of fantasy wanting to be lost in the fantasy to get really deep in there with neptune in traditional astrology ruling over pisces that pisces energy of deep emotions and like when you're thinking of fish in the sea in the deep oceans what mysteries unfold there these are the mysteries you're trying to unlock but we're feeling like a bit of a novice like we're out of our depth in this and it's like what do we need then to get going how do we get through the get through to the next realm of spirituality to deepen maybe some of us are like psychics or tarot readers ourselves who are just like i want to advance the next level how do i get deeper into this what can help me We have the star, we have Aquarius energy. So with Aquarius energy, even if it's in reverse, it's just telling us like, hey, take, like, don't have such self-doubt. This gives me, this always gives me astrology vibes uh, because it's the star. You're reading the stars. You're reading them to the cosmos. You're trying to find out what signs mean. Do you want to be more into ancient astrology? Do you want more modern astrology? Where path do you want to lie? And this can help reading this stage of enlightenment, especially if you're trying to deepen your psychic um, psychic intuition or reading into situations better because if you know more about astrology you know how all of the cards connect to astrology placements not just where some are just the planets or just a sign you know like neptune and aquarius or how the page of cups is connected to scorpio pisces and cancer signs you know like there's also cards in there that'd be like it's the moon in aries or something of that nature um like i think that's the queen of wands actually if i'm not mistaken but i know like queen of wands i associate with aries energy it can help deepen your interpretations with this um so the star is like finding that guidance and also not to like realize that you're doing this all alone when it's in reverse it's like you feel very alone you feel very like you know um you don't feel guided you don't feel like spirits watching over you and spirits like hey i am here you just gotta listen to the messages you're not asking the right questions you know ask what you need to give up in order to be successful into this like what is holding you back what you need to go what you need to let go what you need to release it's okay to feel like a novice you don't have to be perfect at this that's not the point okay so that is a little reading with this deck that was a really quick not a super huge deep dive into this like i said because everyone's going to have their own preference when it comes to using semi pip decks sometimes it's just a few cards and you know if they're very like because the meanings are just like you're you're attached to them you use a tarot you'll be fine you will be fine you'll be able to use this deck absolutely fine there is no shame as well as picking up your notes using a guidebook there's absolutely no shame in that you know some people use tarot daily some people don't and so you need a refresher that is okay if you like this style of artwork it's not super gory i think the empress is the one that comes to mind that is super super gory um out of all of it so keep that in mind here um, I think the artwork is just, is beautiful. 
I think the artwork is really great. Like, I understand this being the Ten of Pentacles. Like, you might be like, this is a Pip deck, it's just pentacles on there. But we're talking like this is an ancestor card, right? Like, this is deep roots into your ancestors, into your community. You know, stacking up, like, you know what? We're all a little dead inside, you know, morbid thoughts or whatever. Like, but that's like the, the connection you can make with this. Also, stacking up your abundance, your prosperity, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. You're stacking it. It's like money stacking and everything. So, like, you can make the connections in there. You're just going to have to keep used to it that's all I think the only time I ever really kind of not mess up but like I have to like really check like when you saw me when I just did the reading for the page of cups just double checking that's the page of cups that's it I would say that's the only thing like here's the page of swords and I think they're supposed to be like a little like a little needle or like a little pen or something I think it's a needle actually in their hand I can't really see that I mean, I got thick glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now, but like I could really hardly see that. So it was just, I had to get used to it. I just double check it. Just take two, just take a second. Just double check it's the page of swords. Good. I'm ready to go. I'm fine with that. So yeah, take that what it is. Let me know what you thought of this video. Do you feel like you're going to buy? Do you already own this horror deck? Are you going to add it to your collection? Let me know what you think of it, okay? And thank you again for being here with me. Thank you so much for requesting this video. I love when people request videos for me. If there's any other style of video, if there's another tarot deck you want me to do a deeper dive into, do a flip version of it, um, let me know. I They're there. I can do that for you, okay? All right. Thank you again for being here with me. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend, and I will see you when I see you. Bye!